It's like I always say. No, I actually never say it. But, well, I think if it were this easy, everyone would do it. It is this easy, and I don't know why everyone isn't doing it. Look at my, I get this neck thing going. That's how fat I am now. My neck is disappearing. Or is it the shadow? Maybe it's the shadow. No. Maybe it's a, well, really got to work at it. Here's my Hawaiian shirt. Um, well, I'm going to call it a Hawaiian shirt. It definitely has a, sorry, that kind of theme. Someone's moving my chair around. I don't care if it was to clean the carpet. These wheels need to be in a certain place. All right. Here's to you. Hmm. Man, another week is over. Man, the year is half over. Can you believe it? As good as, anyway. Uh, 30th of June is tomorrow, which means we'll be done with month number six, and we'll only have six months left. You know what's really annoying of those years, like this year, when Independence Day is a Wednesday? Because work will never extend that into a weekend. They'll give you a Wednesday off, but what good is it to have like a two-day week and then another two-day week in the same week? No good. Now, normally I would just take some time off around it and extend that out to a long weekend, but I'm so busy and I'm so important, and I'm, I absolutely can't leave for two days yet. Maybe by next week. So I'll probably you know, somewhere along the line I'll finally take an entire week. And you know what that'll mean? No videos for you. Ah, oh, damn it! I did it again. Look. Let me fix that too. I got all sorts of time to kill today, right? Uh, let's see. What do we need? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Oh, I should use more fingers probably, but that's okay. The problem with trying to do it fast is you end up messing up. So far, so good. Halfway there, baby. Mm. Ah, because it has to look perfect. Uh oh. Which really speaks to the fact that I haven't had much caffeine today, or else this finger would be shaking so badly there would be no way possible I could do it in a minute like I did there. Well, about a minute. <sighs> yes. Stand up to cancer. That's it. Cancer's gone. It is Friday. As I was saying, current temperature is 90 degrees. Uh, not a overly humid 90, but 90 nonetheless. Nobody likes 90. The only saving grace is the dew point of 59. If I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I'm fat. And uh, I had to run to the vending machine to get this diet, Dr. Pepper. And then I do a lot of talking without taking a breath. So I sound out of breath. Dew point's only 59, so that's good. Whoa! My weather bug screen just changed into a Dr. Scholl's for her ad. Unfortunately, they don't know that I'm not a her. And I could never wear those shoes. My goodness. It's actually 89 as we speak. We'll see. It tends to fluctuate, though. 89 is so much better than 90 when you think about it. So, we went to my brother-in-law's last night for dinner. And one of the foods that he had growing up on his birthday that he always liked was uh, broasted chicken. What is broasted? Broasted is cooked in a pressure cooker, but still fried. But through use of the pressure cooker, uh, it doesn't totally destroy the chicken, so it's still juicy. But it still has a nice, uh, you know, KFC-like skin on it. 
It's an old school technique. Not a lot of pressure cookers out there, but my parents used the pressure cooker a lot, actually. I, if I ever think that far ahead, I, I don't use the pressure cooker. I just throw it in the crock pot and give it a lot more time. But the pressure cooker is for cooking more quickly with the use of pressure. It's very scientific. And I'm sure Alton Brown's done a thing on it, but I haven't seen it. Oh, I was going to turn the flag on, too. The reason I talk so much about roasted chicken is his wife uh, was good enough to find a place that still did roasted chicken. It was in South St. Paul. So she drove down there, got this enormous steam tray full of three or four chickens, cut up into the usual pieces, and a lot of uh, spuds, you know, the kind of wedgie fries. And I don't know if she did the cooking or he did the cooking, or they all did some stuff, but there was a, not a slaw, but one of those kind of oriental type cabbage salads, which is really good with the dressing and the ramen in there. Mm. And what else did we have? There was some other really good stuff that is skipping my mind. Oh, she made uh, corn muffins, which are great, especially when you put fresh organic butter on them. Mmm. So, lots of good food. And there was some good beer. And something which I think gave me a big headache, but I'm not sure what. It must have been the beer. No. Not Brooklyn Lager. They would never give me a headache. I only had one. That was really the highlight of my past 24 hours of eating. Got home and it was still kind of hot, so I was alternating between air conditioning and the replacement fan I got, which wasn't broken and did work. Thank goodness. And I have a position in this way that I can actually close the window and it'll still fit behind it without me having to like take it out every time. Oh, it's just I'm just a super super handy man. Unfortunately, not handy enough to recognize that we had uh, 10 pounds of rotting potatoes in our cupboard. And by the time I did figure it out, and it was last night about 1.30 in the morning, I had gone down there to close everything up and to get a couple ibuprofen for my headache. And I was like, what is that smell? I'm going to find out what that smell is. Oh, God, that is the worst smell in the world. I wish I hadn't opened this cupboard door, and now I immediately have to remove this toxic waste as quickly as possible. And it was one of those jobs where first you put on gloves because you don't want to touch anything, and then you force your wife to get up and hold a garbage bag wide open so you can just kind of, uh, without too much manipulation. But it was just... It takes a lot for a potato to go bad, but when it does and it turns to liquid... That's the foulest, stankiest smelling stuff. I feel I can share this with you. And I want you to take heed and learn from my story and not let this happen to you. If you have potatoes and you're not keeping them in a cool, dry place, and even if you are keeping them in a cool, dry place, don't leave them there so long that this happens. I honestly, I don't remember when I bought them, so that's kind of the problem. I don't know how long they've been there. I kind of hope there's like some kind of in-between state though, but it may be just like, okay, 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 oh, worst smell in the world. Most people would eat the potatoes before we get to that point, and I don't know why we didn't. It just never came up, or they weren't used as an ingredient, or we didn't want to run whatever would heat up the house, but also cook the potatoes. I can, it's so bad, I still have it. Linger, I can still think of it and just, uh. So I put a lot of uh, baking soda in there. I hope that's going to take care of it, but I don't know. Now I'm out of baking soda, so on the way home I should pick some up. Although really, am I going to use baking soda for anything other than sticking in a smelly place today? What am I going to eat tonight? I'm not really hungry right now because I finally did break up that package of sesame, honey roasted, honey glazed. And I threw it away, so I'm not going to show it to you. It's funny. They come in resealable bags, but I never need to reseal them because I eat the entire bag. Was there anything I was supposed to talk about now that I've blown the entire 10 minutes about food and uh, rotting food? Flea posted something. The wolves want Gasol. Do you? Which which Gasol? Pow? I know he's a friend of Ricky Rubio's, but 
I don't know. I, it depends what we have to give up. We gave up Derek Williams. Yeah. Yeah. I could say goodbye to Derek Williams if I had to. Pau Gasol. I don't know. Let's see what Chase can do. Hey, that guy we got in the draft, uh, Mr. Hummel. Robbie Hummel. Turns out he's got some Minnesota roots even, so that must have been why they picked him and not just the fact that they wanted another white guy, right? I like that pick of number 58, though. It's kind of a low-risk, high-reward deal. And if he is, if he bounces back from all the injuries he had, it'll be like it'll be a steal. It'll be like getting a first-rounder for 58. But it's also pretty lazy draft work by the Timberwolves, just kind of not bothering to move up at all. But what do you expect? They're cheap. Hmm... I don't know. We'll have to see. I, you know, I, I suspect they want to keep Derek Williams though. Although for Pau Gasol, they may be willing to give him up. What would Derek Williams do on the Lakers though? I don't know. You can tell I haven't been paying attention to the news today because I had not heard anything about any moves like that. So thank you, Flea, and I will have to pursue this uh, after I stop, which I should have stopped a minute ago. Uh, my niece doesn't call me anything. We, we kind of acknowledge each other, and that's about it. She's, uh, how old is she? She's old enough to go to uh, anime conventions on her own with her friends. So that puts her, what, in her teens? Somewhere. I don't know. You won't catch me in an anime convention because people my age at anime conventions are creepy. And the last thing I need is to be any more creepy than I am right now. All right. Thank you for watching this week. Kevin, thank you for saying hi. Hi back to you. Uh, and... Uh, let's uh, do this again next week but not on Wednesday uh, I'll turn off the flag so we have some battery juice for closer to the 4th uh, I'm that guy you know where to find me let's talk next week or I'll talk and you can uh, watch it's TV the way it was meant to be with me see, ours that I love you, good night